Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Again, sorry if there's a bit of noise. I've got my windows open just a little bit because it's kind of warm. Um, why am I wearing a jumper if it's warm? I don't know. I'm strange. So as you guys can tell from the title and hopefully the thumbnail of this video, today is going to be another boohoo haul which I'm so excited about. I am just loving hauls. I cannot stop watching them, I just love to film them, I think I am a shopaholic. So yeah, Boohoo reached out to me again and asked if I wanted to do another YouTube haul, which of course I said yes because I just need all the loungewear and all the spring summer bits that I can get right now because even though I'm not really going anywhere, when I fancy going for a walk or when I want to pop to the supermarket or just stay in and take some Instagram pictures, I need some cute outfits and I also need to be comfortable. I'm very excited to show you guys what I picked up in this haul and I bet you guys are gonna love some of these items just as much as me. Before we jump in, make sure you are subscribed to my channel and you give this video a like if you do enjoy. If you want to see what I picked up from Boohoo this time, please keep watching. So the first item that I picked up and I'm just gonna kind of talk about now is this insane jumper which is actually from Boohoo Man and it's Quavo's new collection, like new season drop. Um, I'll pop my try on clips in this area here but I got this in a medium which to be fair, isn't as big as I thought. Like if you compare kind of like men's sizes, obviously tend to be like a little bit bigger than women's and they go in like small, medium, large rather than six, eight, 10, 12. But yeah, I got this in a medium. The arms are really nice and long and they cover my hands really, really nicely. It's definitely oversized, got a baggier fit. Um, if you wanted it a little bit more fitted, go for a small. But I think if you're a similar size to me, like a UK eight to 10, a small is still gonna be slightly oversized on you because it is men's. So the shorts that I had on in that try on clip, which I tried on with this jumper, are these black cycling shorts with the woman, is it embroidered? No, it's just kind of like the printed type of material or fabric, don't know what you call it. But yeah, just some plain black cycling shorts. I really like the length on these, they're not too long but they're not super short. Um, and they are like a nice cotton material. I did get these ones in a UK 10 and I'd say they fit absolutely fine but I probably could have got an eight in these. So I'd say if you're in between sizes, maybe size down if you definitely like them really tight. Um, these could be tighter like around my waist but they still fit absolutely fine. Um, and these were really, really affordable. I think there was a sale on when I was picking up these items anyway. Next up is something a little bit different for me. I don't tend to go for floral things very often. Um, and more like girlier pieces. My style can be quite different and I literally go from one end of the spectrum to the other, but I do tend to wear a lot more like plain things and then accessorize with like jackets or distressed jeans and things like that. So I'm not the most girly person, but I do like to wear some floaty pretty dresses sometimes. So I saw this one on the website styled with, I think there was a jacket over the top of it. And I thought it was really, really pretty just because it's a nice nude neutral with just a really simple, kind of, well it's not, it is floral, it's just not colourful, so it's just like little black flowers all over it. It's like a skater style dress, um, but it's not too much or too puffy, it just kind of flows down quite nicely. Um, it's got a bit of a plunge neckline, again not too low. But yeah, I really really like this, it's nice and neutral, so definitely something that I could probably style with like an oversized leather jacket and Doc Martin style boots. You could also pair it with some trainers, pair it with some sandals. Uh, there's so many different ways you could wear this, but then it does have a built-in kind of tie that you can tie around the back just to kind of cinch it in a little bit. But I got this one in a UK 10. I was a little bit more mindful of certain things because a lot of the time in a dress or a play suit, I would go for an eight. But I thought on the safe side of some certain things, especially if they're stretchy, they're gonna kind of be tight anyway. So I went for a 10 and it fits absolutely perfect. So next up is something that I was drawn to mainly for the shorts, but I actually really liked it as like a co set. So it is these black floaty shorts, which I have been looking for a pair like this for quite a while on a lot of different websites, but I couldn't find the right style, the right length, the right material. I just wanted something really, really comfortable to wear 
as it's getting warmer, a lot of the time I don't want to wear denim shorts because it can be really uncomfortable, especially if you're like really sweaty and warm, which sounds gross, but we all sweat. <laughs> so the top then is this little black strappy crop top. Um, you'll probably see it better on the try on clip with the tie thing around it, but this is just what it comes like. Hopefully you can see that there. Plain little crop top. It doesn't have adjustable straps, but for me that didn't really matter. But then what you do get is a piece of string that wraps around the front of this top and you can tie it in a bow or however you want and it just kind of adds a bit of detail and shape to it. Next up we have something that again is a little bit more girly than I would usually go for, but because it is neutral, I didn't mind. So this top I got in a UK 8. Um, and I probably would recommend in sizing down if you're in between sizes with this one. Like, there's no way I would have needed a 10. I could probably even get in a 6 if I really wanted to. But I went for a UK 8 and it fits perfectly. So it is this... What kind of colour? Like a, a beigey, brown, camel kind of colour with white polka dots all over it. It's just a normal kind of round, higher neckline with frilly sleeves. But the best thing about this top is that it has an open back with a ruched band here. Now this is why I would say maybe size down because you don't want this to be loose, you want this to be tight around the bottom of your back. I thought it was really, really pretty. I like the frills that go all the way around it and I styled it with a pair of denim shorts so you'll see in that and I'll show you now. And I really like the way that it looks but again, you could definitely wear this with some cream or white wide leg linen trousers. You could wear it with skinny jeans, mum jeans. So many different options, but I think because it is a neutral colour palette, it's just, it's really, really easy to style and it's a little bit more of a statement top, whereas I tend to go for more really plain little crop tops a lot of the time. And then the shorts that I paired it with, I've never actually tried Boohoo's like denim because I'm very, very fussy and my body shape I think is quite similar to a lot of other girls where I have a smaller waist and then my hips, my bum and my thighs especially are a lot bigger. So most things will be too big on my waist, really tight on my thighs and there's not many places I've found that really, really cater for that. I feel like I'm just going to get a gaping waist and no room on my thighs. I was quite surprised by these shorts because I got these in a UK 10 um, and there's a couple of bits in this haul that say Boohoo Blue on the on the label and I don't really know what that is. It might be like a range. Um, but yeah, I got these in a UK 10. They, they are definitely tighter than I would have liked them to be and there is a little bit of room around the waist but I am trying to kind of tone up um, where I have a little bit more weight on me at the moment. I am not doing the most exercise, obviously we're still in lockdown. Um, I'm not trying to push myself to go out and run a marathon because I can't run. But these do fit me um, and they are quite comfortable. I just think they could be a little bit looser around my thighs. Um, I wish they were made that way, but maybe if I just tone up a little bit and kind of lose a little bit of chub around there eventually these will fit a lot nicer so next up is something that i thought i would just give it a go i'm always really weary when i buy anything white just because it's not very often that it's not see-through and if i'm completely honest this dress is a little bit see-through but i'm thinking i can get away with it or i'm gonna find some sort of like little slip skirt type thing to go under it because i really like the style but i saw this one on boohoo and it's more like that chiffon-y mesh kind of material. So the sleeves are much more see-through and like mesh. The neckline of this is really, really pretty. It plunges all the way down with these gorgeous frills that go all the way around the top of the back as well, back down. Then you've got a cinched in waist there and it does come with a belt so you could pull it in even more if you wanted to. And then it's got ruffles at the bottom as well. Obviously you'll see in the try and clip. I was just wearing some nipple stickers with these but I would say because I don't have the biggest chest I would probably use um, boob tape to stick this down to me because one big arm up here and my whole tit's gonna come out and we don't want that. I've got this one in a size 10 and I'd say it fits really nicely. Just be aware that it is gonna be a little bit see-through because it is a thinner white material but I think with a pair of nude thongs 
it wouldn't be too bad or if you're really really worried some kind of little mini skirt thing in like a, a nude color might help but this little top i think is actually supposed to be like underwear so i typed in seamless just to see what kind of stuff came up and they had like a seamless underwear range unfortunately the like thongs or the briefs they didn't have in my size in the nude color but this is classed as like a long line seamless bra or bralette but it's a really really lovely material it's kind of like shapewear but it's not really thick and tight so i got this in a medium i probably could have got in a small because i've got smaller boobs but the medium is really really nice still really stretchy fits quite tight and you've got adjustable straps there as well but i've just kind of worn it as a little crop top which i probably would still do but if you wanted to wear something that's a little bit more covered up under something else but you don't want to wear an actual bra that's got wires in it something like this is absolutely perfect and i just love a creamy nude color anyway and then with the little bralette crop top i paired these gorgeous tie-dye joggers so these have an elasticated waistband and they do have like a tie Thing there but that doesn't do anything it's just kind of sewn in that you can tie in a bow um i wish this had pockets because things without pockets really bug me um but i really loved the color of this tie dye i think this with just creams whites browns is just gonna look really really lovely you've got a cuff at the bottom i'm about five foot five and these fit quite nicely on me i'd say if you're quite short like maybe about five one maybe 5'2". These are going to be quite long. Um, it does have like a bit of excess material around the crotch area on me. I've got these joggers in a UK 10 and I'm just very excited to wear these. Next up we have a, another pair of cycling shorts and I am disappointed in these to say the least. There's always got to be one or two things in a haul that just don't quite make the cut. Um, I wanted a nude pair of cycling shorts. I do have like a sandy kind of pair um, and these definitely don't really look like the colour I ordered. These are nude but I would definitely say these are more of like a baby pink peachy colour. Um, but these are just completely see-through. I was wearing like a pinky nude pair of thongs but I could just see straight through them. I love the material, it's that kind of soft slinky feeling but this kind of thing really needs to be double lined for you to not see through it so I am a little sad about that. I did get these in a UK 10 um, and these cycling shorts are definitely a lot smaller than the black cotton ones. You could definitely wear it with something really really oversized but just be aware if you were to lift your arms up and that comes up you're probably going to see your underwear straight through these then another pair of shorts that i just tried on with the white top that's not from boohoo it's just a white top i have in my wardrobe um and i am obsessed with these i have a very similar style pair thing from primark last year um but it's a pair of black cotton lounge shorts these are just perfect for being at home at the moment or if you're out and about in the garden or just kind of running an errand and you don't really want to get dressed but you kind of need to get out of your pyjamas but it's quite warm. So this and just like a little crop top or a bandeau or a bikini top, anything like that, it's just absolutely perfect. Again, really nice elasticated waist and then just the fake string things there. Got these in a size 10 love the length i think if they were like quite long whoa but they're not too long that makes my legs look really stumpy because i do have fairly short legs jeans <laughs> i am again kind of going back to the same thing as just i don't buy a lot of denim from multiple shops i've never tried boohoo's jeans i've never tried boohoo's denim so that's why i wanted to pick up the shorts which luckily do fit um, and I wanted to try a pair of jeans. So I picked up these Boohoo, again, the blue range, Boohoo black ripped mum jeans, I'm pretty sure these were. So they've got some big rips in the knees, which I just love the style of. They're a nice jet black, um, nice denim, not too like hard and stiff, but not too soft and flimsy, um, with just silver detailing. Zip up in a UK 10 um i'll just let you see for yourself in this try on clip that i cannot get these over my thighs and my bum at all 
I don't know whether if I got a 12 that the 12 would actually fit quite nicely um, but I would say if they're all like the same kind of size these definitely run up small so probably size up if you want to try these I feel like maybe if I excuse you do you mind I feel like if I was gonna try these again maybe in a 12 I can imagine if they did fit the waist being too big so you probably have to belt them but yeah these were just way too small for me and then the last clothing piece that I have to share with you which really needs an iron so just ignore how creased it is um but I just thought it was kind of cute in a way it kind of reminds me of like a schoolgirl like type shirt that's obviously just very cropped and revealing um but it's just this white cotton long sleeved tie front top i have something quite similar to this which has like flared trumpet kind of sleeves but it's more of like a satiny silk material um and it just goes straight down this has got more of like a collar and a little bit more of a formal crop top and i got this in a uk eight so like i usually do i kind of size down on anything in the top just because there's not a lot here i don't carry much weight in the top half of me then the last couple of bits that i got from boohoo is a pair of sandals i've got a black pair similar to these but i can't remember what brand i got them from i've had them for a little while but i saw these and they're just perfect for spring and summer i think there's something so easy but they look like they just kind of tie in with an outfit, especially if like you were wearing a nice linen shirt, some denim shorts, or one of the dresses that I've got. But it's these white kind of woven sandals. This bit is quite interesting. I don't really know what that's for, or whether that's gonna make any difference, or whether that's gonna be annoying. I don't know. But I just really love the color way of these and the style. I think these are just absolutely perfect. Probably not gonna last you for years and years but they're really inexpensive and just a really nice staple to have in your wardrobe for spring and summer and then last but not least i just picked up two bits of jewelry so something that i feel like i've needed for a little while just to kind of tie in like my gold earrings or rings or bracelets if i'm wearing an outfit that i could potentially pair a belt with i've seen a lot of people have like gold chain tight belts but I've tried like a really droopy one and that's not really my vibe but I picked up this really really simple gold chain belt so that obviously wraps around the front and then you've just got this long chain here that you can obviously adjust to however big or small you need it it's just this bit here is obviously going to be at the front so I can imagine this pairing actually really nicely with like the white dress or just something that's quite simple and maybe needs a little bit of cinching in or just some sort of accessory in the middle to break it up a little bit. And then I can't really show you these that well, but I picked up this three pack of hoop earrings that have come in a little plastic bag. It's really, really pretty. So they're just nice little small hoops that... I can kind of change from like any of my dangly ones or any of like my bigger hoops. I'm so pleased with the majority of items that I got. Obviously the jeans and the pink cycling shorts weren't for me, but that's okay because I absolutely love the rest of it and I cannot wait to start styling up some outfits. If you do want to see what kind of outfits I put together or just a little bit more of my face, make sure you are following me over on Instagram. It's Fern with two N's, Roberts. It's always somewhere at the start of the video, like here or it's always in the description um but yeah it would mean a lot to me if you could follow me over on instagram thanks for bearing with the light in by the way if you did enjoy this video make sure to smash that thumbs up button to let me know and leave a comment in the description let me know what you think what your favorite item was if you've picked up anything really really cool from boohoo recently of course as usual i will link everything that i can in the description below for you guys to go and shop and have a look at hopefully most of this is still in stock i will get this edited and uploaded as quick as i can and also before i forget and you go anywhere hopefully you stayed till the end because i do have a little discount code for you which i will pop on screen somewhere and it will be in the description with the links of the items as well but it's boohoo babe uk this will give you 32 percent off new in and if the item is in the sale already you get an extra 10 percent off Please make sure you are subscribed to my YouTube channel before you leave, the big red button, wherever it is, somewhere around. It would mean the absolute world to me. But that is all from me today. I really hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.